Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from the world of digital infrastructure. And uh, we are coming to you live from the Data Cloud USA event in the Lone Star State of Austin, Texas. That's right. We are live, Patricia. Yes. I'm, it... I'm a little nervous about that. Good, good. <laughs> that, that means it's going to be a great interview. But um, So let me introduce my guest. My, uh, my guest is uh, Patricia Leva. I got it right. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Patricia is the Senior Manager of Sustainability, something we're going to talk a great deal about, for at Equinix. So, uh, Patricia, you and I are on a panel together tomorrow. Yes. Now, yes. I am very, very much looking forward to that panel. But before then, why don't we give our viewers a little bit of a sneak peek of some things that we are going to be talking about tomorrow? You want to do that? Good. The tough questions. Okay. Yeah. No, you love it. So um, you said to me when you walked up, um, um, making sustainability sustainable. Number one, I'm stealing it. Um, Perfect. But tell me what you mean by making sustainability sustainable. So I think... Um, when you talk about sustainability, you kind of have a little bit of a divide from different businesses and who, who are very much pro and supportive mm -hmm. of looking into renewable energy and efficiency and all of those impacts. And then you have the other side that is like, why would I put this investment mm -hmm. into sustainability? Um, it, this feels like a short term thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't tangibly see a benefit or a value. Yeah. Um, but I think that if we talk about sustainability from an economics perspective, we are opening up that door for more innovation, more engagement, more improvement, because really, you know, when you're in business, the goal is to maximize your ROI. And what better way to do that than being efficient and sustainable with the resources that you have? Amazing message, message, and I could not uh, agree with you more um, on that message. But um, if we're talking about, uh, oh yeah, okay. So if we're talking about that message and going in and knocking on the door and saying, you, you know, uh, uh, industry veteran, thought leader within the industry, I have a message for you, um, and it and it means that if you do not begin to think more long term sustainability focused, um, you might get left behind. What kind of what kind of responses are you getting from folks like that? So, you know, I, I think that there is still a little bit of a disbelief mm -hmm. um, that sustainability is really that impactful uh -huh. from a business perspective. But as you see the increasing requirements of our consumers around AI and data, mm -hmm. And, and the issues around power availability, it really becomes clear that this is something that's going to continue on and be impactful for mm -hmm. the longevity of the different businesses that are around today, right? So if you're not going to be sustainable today, you really have, have the potential of not being around in the next 10 years because... Yeah. How are you going to manage it, manage your resources if you're not doing so in an efficient way? And I love the way that um, when we were talking before the camera started rolling, <laughs> the way you positioned that is like it, it's not an all or nothing, but rather it, it looks more like more like this and not like this. You know, there's there's a trajectory of, of, of implementing and deploying sustainability initiatives. Why don't you talk a little bit? And I love that because it's true. Yeah. And we're seeing that around the world yeah. where, where uh, you know, some of the countries uh, who have said oh, we're lopping it all off no more fossil fuels no more of this they're saying ah, we're coming back to that just a, just a little bit but but to your point it like that message to me says i'm making sustainability sustainable absolutely there's a transition i like to call it a transition you don't stop one thing and start another and assume that that new thing is going to take off and be a hundred percent covered mm -hmm. um, for, for all of the requirements and all the needs that you're going to have um, across your, your business. And so if you look at fossil fuels, we've been using fossil fuels for a very, very long time. We get it. Yeah, we understand yeah, 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 that, yeah. right? Um, and, and we understand that there's emissions associated and it's not great for the planet. And there's different things that we want to do, but you don't take something away without having a replacement for it. And, and we're continuing to innovate around alternative energies and fuels and resources and building that up. Yeah. But as we build that up, we still need to take into account all the other needs that require energy and fuel. 
And so I think it's like it's a it's a it's a gradual transition, right? So, you know, and you bring in potential for um, SMRs moving forward into the mm -hmm. next generation of things. We're going to look at fossil fuels dropping down and renewables and alternatives going up naturally. It's going to be a natural progression. Ah, see, that to me felt, sounds so uh, it's, it's palatable. That is a palatable message. But you've mentioned innovation, and um, not everyone in our industry is as young as you and I are. Um, but there, but but so, and as stewards of our industry, um, how important do you think it is to kind of reach out at a very early age to say, "Hey, you." Um, future engineering wizard of, of, uh, of the world, come, come to this industry and help us to innovate. How important is that? Super important. Um, there are great initiatives, even at this event, you have Talent in Tech yeah. that is bringing in students um, from all over to come and learn about Data Center and what Data Center um, provides and the value that we offer for the different communities that we serve. And I think that without the innovation you're stale right yeah you get stuck yeah. and there's always new ideas new things and, and when you bring in a new generation of innovators they don't know what they don't know yeah and thank god because we need them to not know they're they're thinking out of the point. box naturally yeah right they're, they don't know that they're not supposed to be able to to do this or to do that yeah they're just looking at problems and thinking of ways to solve them for the next generation, for the next yeah. requirement or need, and um, you know, I feel like as we as we get more mature in life, we kind of find where our our boundaries our are. Our tribe, where we're we gonna be, yeah. Yeah, we kind of like like to stick in this little little boundary, but when you're younger and as you start to come, you're looking for a, making a place and, yeah. and identifying who you are and and. You're thinking out of the box all the time. That's just your natural mode. Yeah, you have said the you word know? natural at least three or four times, <laughs> uh, and and I love it because there it, it is a natural progression. We should we know that um, we know that the resources that we have are not infinitely sustainable, and so we have to be innovative. And that level of innovation is natural for younger generations who, as to your point, they don't know what they don't know. The other part of that story, which I find fascinating, is that they also know that if they aren't part of the solution, they most definitely will be part of the problem 20, 30, 50, 100 years from now. And so getting them involved now means solving a problem that is going to affect them, their kids, their grandkids, our grandkids, you know, forever. It's a, it's a unique time. It is a unique time. You know, time. 25 years ago we weren't thinking about this. No. But our kids today and the the young innovators today are. Yeah. And I think that I think that's a huge value add that we need to exploit um, and really nurture and grow. Yeah, no, I love it. Um, and I love this conversation and we're gonna do more of this tomorrow yeah. on our panel. Thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you so much, Dean. You bet, you bet. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. Stay connected, stay healthy, keep dreaming, and we'll see you soon.